Uh, Katrina Vandenhovel, The Nation. Thank you, Executive Secretary, for your insights and humanity. You spoke earlier of that it was above your pay grade to decide if the fossil fuel companies would attend COP. Yet in your Al Jazeera op-ed, you did speak to how they were opposing the agenda of decarbonization. And if they did oppose, that they shouldn't attend. So I wanted to pursue the question. You said it was nuanced, but you put it fairly straightforwardly in the Al Jazeera op-ed. Yes, because I, I am, in fact, even in the op-ed, I'm saying they have to decide. They have from now until COP28, they have to decide which way they're going to push. And I'm always open for miracles in this life. Honestly, I'm very much in the market of miracles. So if a miracle is that some of them will actually stand up and lead the herd, leave and lead the herd um, and be responsible. That is a voice that we want to hear. The problem is that they are so much acting as a, as, as, as a pack and none of them want to separate themselves. And so of course there's comfort in numbers and comfort in, I don't know, comfort zones that, uh, that they have been occupying for way too long. But yes, I'm always open for miracles. And, and yes, I I would really applaud if some of them would stand up, leave the herd and lead into the future. Um, if there is no miracle and we all pray for miracles, would you suggest that the fossil fuel companies not participate in COP? No, I'm going to come down on that side. No, if they're going to be there only to be obstreperous and only to put spanners into the system, they should not be there. 